Welcome back folks to the VIA pinstriping page. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for watching. So today we're going to continue with the simple pinstriping design series. Uh, I'm using some um, violet one shot. Uh, I believe it's called violet. It's a very, very light pink. And um, it is leaded one shot actually that I got a, a can of a while back. Um, I can't tell a difference, so I'm going to use it up. Uh, and the Black Magic Scrolling Brush that was uh, discontinued by uh, Custom Shop slash Mac, I believe, back in the day. So this brush is no longer available. It's very similar to a Kafka number one. So there you have it. All right, folks, let's get started with the design. So what we're going to do is feel free to use any brush you're comfortable with. I like to use the scrollers, it's just my preference. So we're going to start in the middle and do a slight C curve outward to right past the middle of the box. I have a grid here, you can barely see it, but it's about a one and a half inch grid. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Slight, slight curve, a little bit past the middle. All right, now we're going to give this a slight upward arch and aim for the middle of the design all the way at the bottom. Now that noise is just my finger going down the uh, panel there. <clears throat> That usually is a is actually a good sign that you're you're dealing with a clean surface. Now we're going to do the same thing over here. Give it a slight arch upward, and do the same thing. Try to keep the same distance if you can. On your way down to the middle. I didn't quite meet because I was trying not to breathe on the camera. So I'm just going to go ahead and give that a good connection. Always try to make the best and the cleanest connections you can make. That is a true sign of a true sign of like good craftsmanship when you when you're doing pinstriping in my opinion. It just looks cleaner, and it shows that you have control. All right, so we're going to start right underneath this section here. We're going to give that same slight arch, and we're just going to follow down parallel with that line, and we're just going to stop right there. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. I'd say about a half inch below. Same thing. Stop at the same spot. When I say half inch below, I'm talking about from this gap here. <clears throat> now we're going to give these a slight point by touching from here, going downward and touching the previous line. And we'll do the same thing on this side. And that gives us a, a little kind of a pointy shape. <clears throat> it's always good to try to play with round and pointy kind of at the same time. If not, you end up with something like a, uh, a very one-dimensional design. It's if, if you got too many sharp and too many rounds, I think, I think sometimes you end up with very one-dimensional design. So from here, we're going to do... A standard C curve. It's going to go out and inward to about right there. Same thing. Now this is almost going to the uh, outer line here. I do have one, two, three lines. So it's almost getting to the outer line, which 
I've sort of wiped off um, with the first few strokes, but I'll see if I can try to match it. Go out and inward. Stopping around the same place. <clears throat> now, if you need to, you can always clean them up just a little bit. Because I was just a little bit low. So I'll bring that one higher and bring this one lower. Kind of evens them up a little. Now, here's where it starts to get interesting. We're going to take this line, which does not connect to this centerpiece. We're going to take this line and we're going to bring it up. But we're going to start up here and we're going to connect it as such. And we're going to do the same thing right here. Always try to maintain the same shape if you can, same distance. and the same clean meeting point. <clears throat> I am palleting in between strokes to, to make sure that I have the correct consistency that I want. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take this point, we're going to follow it very closely, and we're going to go outward with it. So, if I could stop shaking. <laughs> go like such. And we're going to go outward a little bit past the line, a little bit under this line. I did have them grid lines uh, a little stronger for y'all to see, but you get the idea. Uh, I had to wipe off once because the phone rang. And same distance, same shape. A good way of telling if you did all right is you're going to get these triangles here. Um, if you hit the wrong spots, they're going to look a little different, which mine do look a little different. And there's a way you could fix that. It's by thickening, thickening up this line some on this side and thickening this line up on this side. Sort of boxes in that shape a little bit more. You end up with thicker lines, yes, but it kind of evens things out. <clears throat> Those are just little ways to fix, if, if it's a slight problem, little ways to fix things. Uh, your, the general public won't be able to notice that stuff anyways. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a big long C-curve from here, and bring it all the way down to there. Actually, let's do something a little bit fun. Um, what we're going to do is... I, I was considering just going from here to here, right? But a good way to break up that line, to give it a, a little bit more of an interesting look, so you can go out with it before you head upwards. So if you ever get to where you're doing the same moves over and over, just try to consider another way to get up there, right? So I'm going to go outward which is just a slight, again, a slight C-curve. There's a lot of C-curves on this one. Upward. <clears throat> now I'm going to take it from the top and connect there. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. Now, I know this. I said this is a simple pinstriping design. They are getting more complex. Uh, I've done some very, very simple ones in the past. And some folks said, oh, could you try to do some more like intermediate stuff? So this is, I would imagine, a little bit leaning towards um, if you already understand how to move the brush. Or if you're just starting out and just want to try it, try out, see how you can do, give it a shot. <clears throat> All right. Now, we're going to try not to put our finger in the paint, and we're going to bring this line down. A 
We're going to follow it very closely to keep it sharp. A nice long swooping curve inward. Boom. Same thing on this side. Keep keep an eye out where where you crossed and how you're going to end up. Because if you can see this line is for the most part not very curved and then once it gets to here it curves hard. So you're you got to consider where where the curves are. What the shape is. For example, these are just very easy, very like there's no hard turn. These have a hard turn. So keep that in mind. We're going to start here. We're going to follow very closely. It's actually not going to start to open up till about right there. Keeping an eye a little bit on your other side. Hitting that turn. Keeping that same gap. Stopping right there. Now I know lifting up is very difficult for a lot of folks. Uh, I, had, I had a very hard time with it myself. That just comes with time. All of this stuff really comes with time. <clears throat> now, let's see. We don't want to leave these open-ended. So what we're going to do is, we're going to go from here, we're going to go outward. Outward. And we're just going to meet those in the middle to finish the design. And there you have it folks, a simple pinstriping design. Again, you can elaborate as many different ways as you want uh, you feel free to not do that arch and you could just go up with it you could stop when it goes up I mean there's a lot of things that you can do with this you can add a separate color uh, you can continue uh, building off of the different elements um, you could fill this thing in completely if you'd like that'll give you another look let me just go ahead and give it a little signature here Now, I may have mentioned this last time, but I do this little swoop because I have a hard time with gauging distance because I have one damaged eye. So the via is always a little bit off. And I use this swoop to give me a little bit of distance in whichever way it's off. So it was off this way. I start the thing on this side and it kind of evens me back up. If I'm off on this side, I can give that line <clears throat> uh, a little bit more of a tail and it'll even me back out. So uh, make sure you give this a like. If you like the video, make sure that you subscribe and um, you can follow me on Instagram at via pinstriping. Uh, and thank you all so much for watching and I hope it helps. I hope you have a great day and take care. Bye-bye.